Hello bookworms, my name is Lindsay, I am the book blogger, and this is your October Random Hop. <laughs> your feeble efforts amuse me, human. In this video, I'm going to cover a lot of things, so I'm going to get started right now. First, I'm going to talk about my favorite movies and shows I love to watch during Halloween. First is The Simpsons. I've been watching The Simpsons since I was little. I haven't watched every single episode for many years now, but the Halloweens are a must-have. I love their Treehouse of Horrors. I started watching the first one, and I'm hoping to watch all of them this month. They're not too scary. They're not gory. Not really, anyway. And I can watch them and not be scared afterwards, and I just still get the Halloween theme. Next is Sleepy Hollow by Tim Burton. I am a huge fan of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. I've seen the play many, many times. Not in many years, actually, but when I was younger, I'd seen it many, many times. I've seen many versions of the movie. It's another one of those things where it's scary, but it's not so scary that I'm terrified for weeks and I'm afraid something's going to get me from underneath the bed. I don't like that kind of scary. This is an interesting kind of scary. It gives me just enough thrill without going too far. It's also not really disturbing either. I don't like disturbing. I realized, too, that I, I don't think I've ever read the short story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. Maybe when I was in school I might have, but it's been so long that I'm not even sure if I read it. So I think I might do that this month. Because I've seen all the movies and the plays, I might as well read the short story if I haven't yet. I kind of feel like, shame on me, why didn't I read that? <laughs> My next favorite Halloween movie is Dawn of the Dead. I'm a huge zombie fan. No, I have not seen every zombie movie and I have not read every zombie book. But I'm always attracted to that genre and I love zombies. Same thing, it's thrilling and not so much terrifying. And for me, I think Dawn of the Dead is the first zombie movie I've ever seen. And I love the survival. They're just everyday people trying to survive this zombie apocalypse. And it was kind of the inspiration for a zombie th series that I'm working on myself. That in a perfect world, the first book will be released next October. But this isn't a perfect world, so I wouldn't hold on to that. I also like to watch lots of movies about witches. Like I like The Craft, Hocus Pocus. I love those kind of movies. They're enjoyable and fun and Halloween-ish, but not too much. I also love to watch all of the sitcoms, like they go out and they find every old sitcom, like Tool Time or Home Improvement, that's ever done a Halloween special, they start playing them. And they're family friendly and they're fun and I enjoy to watch them. Um, even the new ones start doing Halloween specials, so I always look those up. That's what I like to watch around Halloween. I'm also a big fan of Edgar Allan Poe. No, I have not sat down and read his poems from beginning to end. I've read snippets, but mostly I've seen the plays. Um, I've seen many of them throughout my life, and I've seen them redone on Simpsons and stuff like that, too. Um, I haven't seen them in a long time, but I've wanted to go. Sometimes uh, little theater troops will do, like, an Edgar Allan series. Um, and, and it's the same thing. It's scary without being terrifying. You know, I can get that little bit of thrill and not be afraid to walk down the street at night. Well, that's not true. I'm naturally afraid to walk down the street at night anyway. <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, one of my favorites is, of course, The Raven. I think that's everybody's favorite. But that is actually becoming a movie. Well, not... The movie is called The Raven, but it's actually John Cusack is Edgar Allan Poe and someone is taking his stories and reenacting the murders and then he has to like try and stop it and it looks dark, it looks creepy, and I think it's going to be one of my favorites. Maybe. It's also a little bit on the disturbing side. There were some things in the preview that I didn't like to watch, but we'll see. If it doesn't go too far, there's some really disturbing things in that Tim Burton Sleepy Hollow, but I can kind of, you know not look during those moments. One of my favorite bands, Omnia, did a fantastic performance of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven where they put music in it and then he, the lead singer, re uh, recited the, the words to it. And I'll give you a link to that um, at the end of the video. It's, it's fantastic. You really, you just need to sit there and listen to it. It's great. They did an amazing job. And finally, to end this video, I want to briefly explain why I don't like scary stuff. This is something that Danny Marks brought up. He mentioned that he was afraid that people were, uh, that horror genre, the horror YA books were going to disappear and fade from existence, basically, because people aren't reading them. And I can only speak for myself. And the reason, I thought I was alone in this, but after watching his video, maybe I'm not. I don't like to be scared. For me, it's like... You know, I watch a horror movie and I'm terrified for weeks afterwards. I'm terrified going out to walk my dog or at night I sleep with the TV on. I'm like uber sensitive to it and I don't like it. It's not a good feeling. It's not something I can just turn on and turn off and it doesn't go away. It's like this black shadow that follows me around. 
So I figured it was just me. I figured that I was the only one that had this problem. And most horror movies are like that, especially when it's about ghosts or anything of that nature. It's too much for me. I can't handle it. It's too scary. I don't like it. It's not fun. It's never, it's not like I watch these movies and I go, oh, it's good to be scared sometimes. It's not, it's not, not in this situation. It's terrifying, I don't like it. Some movies are um, more about the slash and gash them. You know, they find a family or a tourist or whatever and it's all about how can we torture them in the worst ways possible and put this on TV. And it never ends happily, it's horrible. And I don't understand how someone can watch these movies and get enjoyment from someone else's pain. And I'm not, I'm not speaking bad of people who do. I just don't understand it. I don't, I don't get it at all. Um, and the worst part is that this is not like a ghost story. You know, a ghost story presumably is fiction um, and never has never really happened. But these Slashman and Gash movies, this stuff has happened. People have been tortured in these ways, and I don't see any enjoyment from it. I don't get entertainment from it. Um, so I can't watch those. You know, I don't get enjoyment from people suffering. So that's my take. That's why I can't enjoy scary horror movies. I don't get any satisfaction from it whatsoever, which is why I stay towards the lighter side of Halloween. You know, the not the kind of scary but not too scary kind of thing. That's that's me, and I'm not dogging it. I'm just saying this is the way I am. I can't change it. I don't have any desire to change it. And now I've said my piece. So happy Halloween to everybody. Uh, make sure you have a good and safe Halloween this year. And until next time, happy reading. The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe Once upon a midnight dreary While I pondered, weak and weary Over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore While I nodded, nearly napping Suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, tapping at my chamber door. To some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, merely this and nothing more.